So I had to tap in real quick because it's like this. Um, 13 years ago, I found something that changed my life, you know what I mean? And that thing was fitness and martial arts, you know? And I was always into fitness my whole life, you know what I mean? I liked lifting weights, but I never found it like I did 13 years ago in 2009, 2008, you know? And when I found martial arts, I found a new light, you know what I mean? And I found a new lifestyle. And I've, I've battled in and out of the old lifestyle and I've came back and forth between the lifestyle and I've never been in a satisfaction state you know and um, that leads to my next point you know the point is is that like I found this new light you know what I mean and so my journey has been my journey you know what I mean and I always expect people to hold you know the same accountability to themselves that I do whenever things happen you know I, I expect people to hold themselves accountable like that, you know, but the fact is, is like, they didn't find this light, they didn't find this light, I found this light, you know what I mean, I'm the one who made the epiphany happen, you know what I mean, I'm the one that said, oh, this is, this is something that could change you, this is something that could make you better in life, you know, <clears throat> and so, I always expect people to have that same oomph, that same drive whenever I meet them, you know, I expect them to be super excited to want that life change, you know, but I never hold into account that they haven't seen that light, they didn't see that light that I've seen, you know, they haven't been through the journey that I've been through, you know, the 13 years that I've been through, they haven't been through that, you know, and uh, that's where I always end up having a disconnect, you know, I always end up having a disconnect because I feel like they're in the same vibe as me, I feel like they're doing the same thing that I'm doing well, I'm doing. I feel like we're on the same flow, the same page, and it always ends up turning out to be the opposite, you know? It's hard life right now because, you know, my whole family homeless, you know what I mean? I'm the only one doing something significant and relevant, you know? And, uh, I just wish I could reach out and grab people and bring them with me, you know what I mean? I wish I could reach back to those people that I influenced in that negative way. I wish I could reach back and tell them a different path, tell them the light that I see. But the thing is, is like, are they going to see the light? You know what I mean? Is the light going to happen? You know? Does that just happen naturally for people? Or is it just something that's built? You know? Like, it's weird, but I found that light, and it changed my life. It changed everything about me. It changed who I really wanted to be, and I want to reach out and grab my brother right now and be like, look, dog, come with me. You know what I mean? Look, bro. There's just so many situations that I could be like, yo, you know what I mean? This is an example. This is an example. This is an example, but... I just want to let you guys know that if you're going through something and you don't know where to go, look for that positivity. Stop stop dwelling in the, in the past and in the negative. Look for that positivity. Be about a better lifestyle. Do better for you. You know what I mean? Do better for the people around you because they love you too. <clears throat> Life's so crazy, man. Life's so short. You know what I mean? It's crazy because two years ago, one of my nephews robbed one of my best friends, you know, and my best friend called me, you know what I mean, and he tells me, he says, uh, he says, you know, nephew robbed me, you know what I mean, and I say, you know, that's none of my business, and if you weren't doing the shit that you were doing, you would have never been in that situation in the first place, and that goes for him too, you know what I'm saying, but I'm telling this man that at that point, you know, and, uh, he disowned me, you know what I mean? He was like, you ain't have my back. No, I do have your back. But I'm not going to enable the lifestyle that you're portraying. You know what I mean? I'm not going to enable that negative lifestyle, you know? And so, last year that man was found in a park dead in that same lifestyle. You know what I mean? And all I wanted him to ever do was see that light. And I hope that at some point my brother sees that light, you know what I mean? Because... It's a hard life without y'all, you know what I mean? 
it's hard, you know, man. It's hard because I have to reach back every now and then and and try to forgive myself for the things that I went through with with JD, you know, and forgive myself for some of the things that I went through in my whole life with my kids, you know what I mean? And you know, like I said, the homeboy, you know what I mean? And just all these things that are irreparable. <laughs> I don't even know if that's where it wrote, but you know. I just want to be better. I just want to do better. I just want y'all to do better with me. You know what I mean? Stop lagging on it. Get out there and get yours. You know what I mean? There is a palace for all of us. You know what I mean? Be that. I love y'all. Y'all be good. I'm going to get out of here. I just thought I'd drop that real quick. Y'all be good. Bless.